Hi there, welcome back to Day Music Gaming. I'm Ulrich and today I'm so excited to be bringing you back more Critter Cove. Yes, today is the next playtest and I'm so happy to be able to play it again. As you can see, we are in version 2.2.14. I don't know how far that puts it in the, the, the path to release, but I know that this is gonna be the last playtest before the game is released uh, into early access, that is at least. I don't know when the full game's gonna come out, who knows, but until then, I'm so excited to be getting in, so let's get in right into this. As you see, I did have to click new game, so all of the progress that I made last time that I played, I'm not gonna be able to retain, so we're gonna have to start new, which does mean that I'm also gonna have to do the character creation again, which is fine, because from what I've been seeing in the Discord, they made so many changes to the character customization, to the character customization that it's essentially gonna be like creating a new character. So I'm so excited to get in and see what, what difference is gonna be made. I don't think I'm going to show it like I did last time. I think I'm probably just going to show what it looks like at the beginning. Oh, look, I already got uh, uh, a thing. Okay. I'm just going to show this is what the the, uh, the model looks like now. They did change what the model looks like uh, slightly. I'll, I'll try to see if I can put up a side by side of what the model looks like so you can see what it looks like. Uh, and it, you might be able to notice also here there is so many different things that you can do. Actually, what is this? Oh, interesting. There's so many different things that you can do. So many new options, so many new possibilities, but we already know what I'm going to do. So you know what? I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to be right back with my character. All right, let's go. Look, as you can see, we have my boy back. He's actually looking better than before. I think they actually, I did add a few things that, oh, he's in front of the UI. That's interesting. They actually did add a few things that I was able to make him even closer than before. I think the tail is different. The ears are different. I, uh, this time I decided to use one of the, the, the fox fur patterns. Uh, you can't see it because I have the clothes on. Hopefully they'll add the ability to remove clothes during custom the character customization to get the full scope of the patterns. But I did one of the fox patterns uh, to get uh, his fur uh, to look correct. Uh, I'll see if I can get up a side by side of what my fursona is supposed to look like. And then we can see just how close I got him. Uh, you see here, I, I actually kept um, I kept the hair and the glasses combo, uh, even though I did notice that they do have the uh, the hair by itself now. I don't remember if that was in the original one or not, but uh, until I find glasses like that in game, I'm just going to keep them on. And then uh, if I do find them, then maybe I'll take them off later. Wink, wink. But let's see here. So what's your name? Well, let's go ahead and go with Ulrich again. And I'm he, him. And hang on. Let me see something real quick. I want to see if I can get a good shot. Of, yeah, look at, that. look at those paws right there. I don't know if you remember last time uh, I was talking about the fact that they had uh, three toes and uh, their their paw print shadow thing was uh, a four toed uh, a four toed paw print, but they did change that. So they had a four toes both in the paw pads and in the actual model themselves. So that's pretty cool. But all right, let's get right into this. Oh look, they actually added some background, and some lore. Let's see. <clears throat> Help wanted, island manager. Are you tired of the same old humdrum? Do you want to just get away? Opportunity awaits on the beautiful paradise of Critter Cove. Critter Cove is looking for the right person to help turn it from wow to kapow. Join us as we turn our town into the top destination around. Are you a self-starter, handy with tools, willing to travel, able to supply your own health insurance, shark positive, a team player, immune to robophobia, and willing to work on commission? If you answered yes to these questions, Critter Cove is the right place for you. Travel to the island included. Upon arrival, contact Renard for more details. Adventure in a post-apocalyptic paradise awaits. All right, so that's pretty cool. They actually added some more, some more background. Uh, it says post-apocalyptic. Uh, I don't know if that was... Uh, expounded upon in the last version but yeah no it, this is supposed to be a post-apocalyptic world oh, okay i don't know if i remember an intro but yeah and i just chuck it into the water all right jesus okay Okay, well, there goes that. Oh, okay, here goes this voice again. All right, you ready? I don't know if I'm ready for this. <clears throat> Shiver me timbers. What an amazing and exciting journey that was. We'd be lucky to be, we'd be lucky to make it here in one piece. Judged by me ship sitting at the bottom of the harbor, not a moment too soon either. Guessing the sea be having to wait another day to claim old anchor. Why don't you go speak to that fella that hired us? Renard be his name. I've been making sure the port office be in order. What happened? Or okay, I'll do it. All right. Well, what happened up there? You don't. 
I was right at the Robot Kraken, I forgot. You don't remember the Robot Kraken? The fleet of ghost pirates? Saving us from our raging whirlpool? No. No, I can't say I remember any of that. Truly, ye be a master sailor. The likes old anchor has never seen. You must have smacked your head harder than I thought to forget all that. Nah, my head's just full of music and lyrics. That's usually what I tell people when I forget things is... I just remember a whole bunch of different songs, a whole bunch of different lyrics, and that's what's clogging up my memory. I'd be lucky to have you watching me dorsifin out there. Out thar. Even if it weren't for you. Never mind. We'd be here now, so I guess none of that matters anymore. You should focus on the job at hand. Am I really that good? Renard would be waiting for you on shore. He'd probably have more for you to do. Just be watching your back around him, you hear? Renard be a sneaky one, he is. Well, of course. I mean, Renard's... What is that mouse sensitivity? Uh, you know what? Hang on. Let me change that real quick. Uh, that would be here. Oh, here. Uh, settings. Okay. That's the sound. It's the video. That is sensitivity. All right. Let's turn that maybe about right there. Auto angle zoom. Interesting. Oh, that's a bit better. I don't know. This seems too high for for anyone uh, for anyone, and it's getting nauseating or something. Uh, just guess. Just let me know. I'll, I'll turn it down a bit. Uh, maybe. Actually, I'll turn it down right now. Anyways. I don't know how many episodes I'm going to record of this um, sequentially. I'm going to try to do what I did last time and record a few episodes uh, in advance. Uh, there's Renard right there. <laughs> Alright, here's this voice. This one was the voice that I was having most trouble with. I, I edited out so many failed attempts in the last versions, but uh, I don't know. Let's see. I'm more, I'm, I'm more pumped up than before, so hopefully I'll, I'll be able to get this uh, more correct. <clears throat> Ah, ah, you see? Ah. Ah, so I see you finally arrived. So glad to finally meet you. I can't wait to get started on rebuilding Critic Cove. I'm Renard, mastermind behind this little venture. I also run the local junk and gift shop. If you need anything, just stop by and check out my wares. You've probably already noticed that the town is in a less than ideal state. It'll be your job to fix it up all nice-like, make a real destination, and perhaps we make a little coin along the way. Hmm, but first things first. We need to get your living arrangement sorted. Can't have you sleeping on the beach now, can we? That's not a problem for anyone else around here. It'd be undignified. Oh, okay, well. Fortunately, Renard has you covered. Take this mostly official critical of house deed and pin it to the door of any of these vacancies you see. Don't matter which, your choice. I think I'll probably go for the same house I did last time. Or maybe I'll do something different. That way I can see what the other houses look like. See if they, if they actually change. Once that's all done nice and legal-like, You'll need to fix it up, but that shouldn't be an issue for someone as resourceful as yourself. Oh, by the way, there are a couple of other folks who arrived just before you did. Might be a good idea to stop in and say hi, since you'll already be out looking for a house anyways. I'll try to remember to do that. I'll try this time to be actually, uh, like, focused on anything, really. I think the, f the first episode last time was so everywhere that I don't even know what I did in the first episode, aside from try to look for bugs, I guess. That was the main goal of the first episode. This time... Since we already know what the game kind of looks like, I'm just going to try to go in and play it. See, because they added a lot in this in this version. So we're going to see just how much they added and what all we can see. They each took to living on the beach. One on the west and the other on the east. If the island isn't that big, you should have no troubles finding them. I'll come by and talk to you again once you've gotten your house set up. There's much to be done. Also, doing that voice, that was actually better than last time. You, you probably heard most of it. I didn't actually cut most of that out. Uh, but I did, I did notice, actually, I don't remember if Renard, uh, actually had a voice last time, but I am noticing, did they, oh, Disable Curtis Big, that's right, that's on by default, I remember that now. Also, the music's that low and that's still loud? Interesting. Oh, that's fine, I'll change the, the sounds and the editing, it's whatever. Alright, let's Disable Curtis Big, I do like the, the cute sounds, uh, that they had, uh, from a, from a musician standpoint and like an audio engineer standpoint i guess i'll say uh i i am curious to see if they've made any changes to the way that the, the critters sound because from what i remember last time it kind of had like a weird reverby effect like uh i guess if you, if you want to put it like that uh it sounded like it was being recorded in a room 
when we're on an island, so you kind of have to mix it so that it sounds like you're, you know, in an island and not in a room. So that, that's not really, it's of course early, early access. So of course that's not really that much of a problem. That's why I am curious to see if they've changed that. So let's talk to Pokey over here, or should I say, whoever this is over here. I do think that's a bit loud and I do think that still has that same problem. So I don't know if I should say that or report that or anything, but I, it's, it's probably fine. I think most people are probably gonna have it disabled anyways, because if they're if they're like me, they're probably gonna want to do their own voices. But I just like I just like having the the voices because it sounds cute. Uh, <laughs> what? Don't you know it's rude to butt your nose into someone else's business? I don't have a voice for her. Who are you, anyways? There. You know what? That's not gonna be good for my throat. My name is Ulrich. Yeah, shit. Ulrich. Oh, then you sailor man. You're not what I expected. I always heard sailors were supposed to be tough and capable looking. You see, tell that to Anchor. I don't know why he thinks I'm that good. I think he he must have hit his head too hard and he thought that I'm good at that. I'm Pokey, by the way. I'm just about the only adult on this whole island. Now, please don't let me keep you from a busy day of picking up every random piece of trash you see. Good day, Ulrich. You know what? No. Good day, Pokey. Yeah, you heard me. I said good day. All right, let me turn that down. Where is that at? Uh, audio, audio. Dialogue. Did that appear whenever I closed that? No, whatever. I think I'm just blind. Just turn that. If this is how loud the music is, let's turn that about with where the music is. All right. What was I doing? Let me grab some food. All right. Oh, you know what? If, she, if she's here right now, I wonder if I can go in her house. She's not technically in her house. I do like that she's sitting in the shade. That's that's clever. Even though she's a reptile, so she's probably more okay in the sun. But, you know, she's also a person. I'm not home right now, but you're... Okay, well. She's also a person. And that's one of those things in worlds like this with um, anthropomorphic animals, I guess I'll say. is Anthropomorphic means giving human-like qualities to otherwise non-human things so if you have an animal that acts like a human which part of them is animal which part of them is human you know so if she's a reptile then she'd probably be fine in the heat oh i found this place already she'd probably be fine in the heat but then she's also like a person so she probably wants to get out of the sun so you gotta you gotta you gotta draw the line somewhere you can't have it too realistic because then it'd be like um like watership down probably Where that one, that, that show slash book was just based off of the way rabbits work. And here's Sammy. Look, I found him this time, guys. Nothing crashed. I actually knew where he was. Hmm? Oh, hello! You're new! I'm Sammy. I'm pretty new here, too. Hi, Sammy. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm, try I'm trying to keep my composure, but let's just look how cute he is. My name is Auric. You have no idea how nice it is to meet you, Auric. I was starting to think I had gotten tricked into moving here. The brochure said a tropical paradise awaits. Really? My brochure said a post-apocalyptic paradise, but I mean, if yours said that, then mine said that too. I didn't say anything about living in a ratty tent on a beach. Hey, is that a slide, is that a slide against Renard? That may or may not be racist. I thought I'd be stuck on this beach forever, but you look like someone who's got it all figured out. Maybe we'll finally start seeing some progress, you know? Is that a slide at me? <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying too. Hopefully, we'll, I'll try to make some more progress. I'm really glad I met you. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. I mean, one thing you can do to help is not talk to me until I have food, because... If I remember from last time, I don't want to give you the wrong food and then you get very upset. Oh, I gotta clean my house first. And then me not be able to give you f food again, or at least until you ask for it again. Oh, here's this thing again. Alright, so let's go claim my house then, shall we? I still don't think I can sprint. I don't see any sprint button. I pressed alt and I freaked out for a second because I thought I muted my whatever. I had a little fiasco earlier going into this. I pressed alt tab to go to discord and I muted my OBS and then I tried recording it and I was muted the entire time. So I changed that because 
o OBS. I blame OBS for that. Because... Oh, you know what? I have an idea. I blame OBS for that, because I had it set to my right alt. And I pressed left alt in tab to go to uh, Discord, and it still muted it. So it, OBS doesn't discern between left and right alt, which is kind of annoying. Yes, I have plans for the future. This is my house. All right, and this time I won't be an idiot. Oh, look, I need six and rocks. Okay, I, I can I can do that. I should have been picking things up along the way. Like that. See, like, I, I'm trying to be better than I was last time. It, just walking around, picking up everything. Uh, but turns out I should have probably done that. And this is exactly why I, I was doing that before, because you never know when you're going to need what and what you're going to need. And it also looks like there's less things around here. That's not even a rock. Yeah, there's some sticks and stuff over there. Oh, I wonder where Pokey is. Are you in your house? No, you're not in your house. Oh, look at that. Okay, so... Here, I was curious. I probably should have waited until later to show this. But So this is the new and improved map. For one, of course, they uh, increased the... Uh, here, don't look at the island. That's spoilers. <laughs> uh, they increased the... They fixed the scrolling zoom, whatever. But as you can see here, you can now actually mark certain items on your map for you, so, so that you can uh i guess not mark them but they have marked certain items on the map so that you can find them on the map later uh oh actually i can see them now did i do that or is that just there no that's just there it looks like looks like those are sticks i can't actually quite tell i don't think i passed any sticks what is that is it a rock no that's nothing there are sticks here. I think eventually, maybe I'll need to up upgrade my map or something, but like, let's let's stop speculating and let's just get right into it. I'll be honest, does that feel slower to you guys? I don't... No, whoa, look at that. Oh, they changed how swimming works, by the way. Oh. Oh, interesting. They're, they're flat. I kind of thought they were... I, I kind of thought they were... Here, I, I'm going to try to get pictures for everything that I say in case you guys don't know. But th those things kind of remind me of... Uh, I believe they were the eye eyes from Subnautica. But no, these things are flat, so that's interesting. But yeah, no. Picking things up seems to be a bit slower. I don't know if that's a problem on... Oh, that's a shovel. Uh, I don't know if that's a problem on... The, my computer side or um, the game itself, but that's that's kind of I don't know. I feel like that makes picking things up less satisfying. Only slightly, only slightly. <laughs> don't worry, devs. I'm just I'm just very nitpicky. The fact that I can't run around and, and pick things up anymore uh, as as smoothly. There's like a little a little bit of a pause to picking things up. Then even just just showing them uh, being picked up, it kind of makes it. A little less uh, less smooth, I feel, but uh, that's probably just me. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go do my house, and I'm gonna go get that ship later. Uh, let's see. Uh, does anybody remember how many things it said I needed? Oh, there it goes. Eight and five. Okay. Uh, eight and five. Well, perfect. I'm gonna grab. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some of this stuff. Uh. Oh. Okay. As requir that requires a shovel. Okay. I'm going to grab this stuff, and then I'll be right back uh, over there by my house so that I can um, finish that up. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to grab this bathtub, and then I'll show you then. Or, and then we'll go back to the house. Or, you know what? I'm going to grab this, and then I'll go back to the house. Because if you remember, this is how I learn how to make the workbench or the work table also i think they added a little jingle uh this time so that's definitely makes that more more of an accomplishment all right so definitely this time i'll be right back uh right in front of my house so that we can finish that up all right and here we are let's go ahead and pop in oh, okay that's the split button uh, right click is the the fast the fast input. I think I said down there donate item. And then now we wait. I, I didn't close the UI. Oh, do I need to press donate? I need to press donate apparently. Okay. 
I don't know if me pressing escape to continue that or if it closed by itself, but I'll have to see, check that later to see if, uh, if it was supposed to do that by itself or not. All right, talk to Renard. Is he in his shop? No, his shop's closed. Oh, there he is. Right on cue. Hi. I see you finally figured out your living situation. Capital. There goes that word again. All right. Uh, this is a very fine home, but they never come well furnished. Hmm. I've got it. You need a housewarming gift. Free of charge, of course. Let's call it a down payment on future services rendered. Now, let me see. Ah, here we go. Just the thing to make a house feel more homey, Capital. Yes, yes, you call me Capital. Basic chair. What do I do with this? You place it in your house, of course, you idiot! This is your space, and you can decorate it however you like. Oh, all new homes also have to come with two basic trunks. They're very handy for storing your ex extra things. They're very, <coughs> they're very handy for storing your extra things. And by some quirk of nature that I'm not qualified to explain, it's called quantum physics, you see. Their contents seem to be connected to each other. That's what he said, yes. I'm gonna pretend like that is what he said. No, don't look at it. Then you're gonna see that's not what he said. If you put an item into one container, you'll be able to access it from any other container you own. Science? Magic? Quantum physics, like you said? Just another of life's unexplained mysteries. It's probably quantum mechanics, right? Quantum tunneling? I don't know. But it's incredibly useful. You can move one or both of these trunks to any place that's convenient. I suggest you move one to the workshop area. Well, I should be going. My story isn't going to mind itself. Before I take my leave, here's a pamphlet that goes over the basics of decoration. I'm sure you have a fine looking home in no time, Ulrich. A creative person such as yourself always does. All right, item placement. Press I to open inventory. Select the item you want to place. Press <laughs> to enter decorate mode. Select location and place item. Hold E to pick up placed item. Press Q to target objects on a surface. To target objects, oh, okay, interesting. Oh God, Sammy, you actually kind of scared me. Uh, I don't know if I want to talk to you yet. I don't have any food yet. All right. Hey. Ulrich, I'm super glad I ran into you. I was thinking maybe you can help me out with a little lighting problem the town has. Oh, okay. Wait, wasn't I supposed to come to you for help? It gets really dark here at night, and I hate for anyone to stub their toe because they can't see. So I figured, what if we get some new street lights installed? Well, how would we do that? Says me. Hmm. My grandpappy always said that if you want to know how something is made, you should take it apart. He destroyed so many things. I bet if you took a wrench to the broken street lights around town, you could eventually figure out how to build one. You could probably do that with all sorts of things out here, out there, anywhere in the world. Once you've unlocked the secret to the weakest street lights, you'll be able to craft a new one out of the things you find here and there. Then it's just a matter of picking a good spot, and bing, bang, boom, the town will have a new light. Oh, look at how adorable he is. Oh, now he's sad, but still adorable. Oh, it's going to be so nice to have some light when it gets dark again. That way Pokey won't be able to jump out of the shadows and scare me anymore. I mean, she's scary in the daytime. Hi again. Also, weren't you supposed to tell me that after I get my wrench? What's up now? Is it now the one about your food? Whoa, good lord. Carry the one, add 45 and divide by 32. What? Oh, sorry. I was trying to figure out my budgeting. Math is super hard, at least for me. Especially when I'm trying to make small numbers seem bigger. <laughs> Let's talk. How many apples do you think you could stuff into your mouth at the same time? <laughs> Sammy, I have some concerns about this question. And I also just punched my mic, that's how concerned I am. How many apples do you think you can stuff into your mouth at the same time? I'm just gonna ignore the implications of this question and just answer realistically. Don't look at me like that. Unless you want this to go places, Sammy. 
Me too. It's not very impressive, but if you're in the same boat, I feel a little better about it. <laughs> you don't look like that either, alright? <laughs> you stop looking at me and Samuel like that. Or maybe that's why he, he asked me that question, because I'm giving him this look. Anyways, so that was an... That was an interesting dialogue. That's not the one that I was expecting, but that's definitely one I wasn't expecting. I feel like there's a little input lag, because I pressed E. Uh, I pressed E on the door, and it didn't, um... It didn't register, so I had to press it again. What am I doing? Pressing... Or placing my chair. Placing my chair. What does Q do again? I know it doesn't really do anything, but let's see. Let's place chair. Place chair against this wall right here. Oh, does, does this still do that thing that it did last time? It, it does. I don't know if I if I uh, if I mentioned mentioned it last time, but so whenever you're placing items, it like I, I did mention that you disappear when you place items. So let me show you. Can I move this? That's not how you do that. Hold E. All right, so I have my, my, my cot now, right? I have my cot in my inventory. So uh, I'm going to be right here in front of the door, right? And I'm going to place my this thing down. So you see, I've disappeared, right? But I noticed that it actually teleports you. So this camera mode that I am, it's not just like a camera. It is you flying around. So whenever I place this down, I'm over here now. So that's that's some, that's interesting, and I don't know if I mentioned that last time, but I feel like that's I, d I don't know if that's a thing that can be exploited later, but I'll see. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna shove these shell. Whoops. I'm gonna shove these shells into the uh, over here. I might need this later. Decoration instructions. Don't think I need that. Uh, and then so that that trunk has stuff now, so I imagine I can't pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. So it has to be empty. So I'm gonna grab this one, which is empty. I can rename it. You know what? I don't think I see any filter items or any, uh, oops. I don't think I see any like filter options. Or not filter, but rather uh, sort. I don't see any sorting items. I can't rename them, so that's cool. I don't remember if that was a thing before. Oh, what's that? What's that happening? Oh, that's right. Q is auto run. I don't, I don't remember pressing Q just now, but okay. Actually, weird. There's, there's like a little like. I call it like input. Uh, what what do I call it? Input queuing, I guess. Where like, I can't think of any other examples. But so, I call it queuing because it like, the, the game registers that you pressed a button but doesn't do it until later. So whenever I close the inventory and then well, whenever I. Uh, close the inventory as I'm pressing like to walk away. Oh, now it's not doing it. I think the game's just experiencing a bit of lag. Or maybe me. I don't know. Everyone ignore everything I'm saying because apparently nothing is working for me right now. What am I What am I doing? I'm on top of the roof. Where am I going? Talk to Renard. There he is. Oh, Sammy's there. Ah, Ulrich, so good of you to stop by. We have much to do, and it never seems like there are enough hours in the day. Tell me about it. We need to start fixing up this town, but first, you need to find our missing handy bot, Copper Bottom. He was supposed to be picking up salvage for the workshop down at the beach, but he probably got himself wet again. I always tell him to avoid the water, see? But he just can't help himself. You're going to need this oil can if you want to find him. Well, I'm not going to need the oil can to find him. I'm going to need it after I find him. Just give him a squirt or two. Don't ever say that about about robots. Uh, just give him a squirt or two, and that'll and that'll and that he hundred percent again. I can talk. Don't worry. Oh, and do me a huge favor and give him a hand when you when you get him unstuck. That's the point of the oil can. The oil can is not gonna help me find him. The oil can's gonna help me help him. He's way behind on getting the workshop. Oh, okay, that part. Now off you go. No dawdling, mind you. The sooner you find Copper Bottom, the sooner we'll have a functioning workshop. 
All right, well, you know what? Unlike last first episode, I am going to leave this episode here. Don't want it to run on too long. Hopefully there's enough content. I'll see. Is that g gum? No, that's uh, barnacles, it looks like. I thought that was just gum uh, on there. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. I don't want it to drag on too long uh, like I did last time. Uh, next time, we're going to go ahead and talk to Copper Bottom. We're going to see... Uh, how far we can get in one episode and then we're gonna see how far we can get in this game so uh what's my outro again i don't record very often so i don't remember what my outro is oh god uh if you enjoy this content make sure to leave a like if you liked it so much that you want to see more make sure to subscribe my name is Ulrich, and this has been day music game see you next time